Imagine you're a pilot landing in near-zero visibility, no visual references, no horizon, just instruments guiding you to safety. How does this work? That's where the Instrument Landing System, or ILS, comes in. We've already covered how the localizer and glide slope guide an aircraft down the perfect path. But what happens when a pilot needs to know exactly where they are during approach? That's where marker beacons and distance measuring equipment, DME, step in. Pilots need precise position updates as they approach the runway. Traditionally, ILS used marker beacons, radio transmitters placed along the flight path that tell pilots when they've hit key points in their descent. Three main markers, outer marker, typically four to seven miles from the runway. It emits a continuous series of dashes and a blue indicator in the cockpit. When you hear this, you're at the glide slope intercept. Middle marker, around half a mile from touchdown, alternating dots and dashes sound off in amber, signaling that you're just seconds from making the decision land or go around. Inner marker, a white flashing light and rapid beeping tell pilots they've reached the final critical stage mainly used in Category 2 and 3 low visibility landings. But here's the thing. Fixed distance markers like these weren't enough for modern aviation. Pilots needed real-time continuous updates on their distance from the runway. Enter DME, distance measuring equipment. DME works like an echo. The aircraft sends a signal to a ground station and the station sends a response. By measuring the time delay, the system calculates the exact distance to the station usually co-located with the ILS localizer. Why DME is better than marker beacons. Continuous distance updates, unlike fixed checkpoints, works at any altitude, integrated with ILS and auto land systems for zero visibility landings. While marker beacons were the old school method, DME is now widely used in modern ILS approaches, providing pilots with real-time distance to the runway threshold. Today, most major airports rely on a mix of DME, GPS and radar altimeters for precision landings. In fact, many modern runways no longer use marker beacons at all. Did you know? Some of the world's busiest airports have even phased out traditional ILS beacons in favor of satellite-based landing systems. So the next time you're on a flight and the weather is rough, remember, your pilots aren't just relying on their eyes. They have an invisible highway of radio signals leading them safely to the runway. What's next? In the next episode, we'll explore ILS categories, CAT 1, 2, 3, including how aircraft can land themselves with Autoland in zero visibility. Subscribe, hit the bell, and let us know in the comments. Have you ever landed in bad weather? What was it like?